Hello! This video will show you how to use the Well Drillers locator map. The Well Drillers report requires a lot of information, including section 3, that asks you to express your location in degrees, decimal minutes, latitude and longitude, as well as the PLSS systems, township, range, section and quarter quarter. The map shown to you in this video generates a report like this to help you quickly fill out section 3 on your Well Drillers report. To find the map, go to IDWR's main website at idwr.idaho. Gov. Then, underneath Online Research Tools, scroll down and click on the Well Drillers Locator Map. Click I agree on the conditions of use. If you have them available, type in your GPS coordinates. You can type those in as degrees decimal minutes, or if your GPS unit is set to collect this information in a different format, you can choose your coordinate system or your latitude and longitude format right over here. Once you have typed in your coordinates, click Convert. The map will zoom you to your location, put a yellow dot where the well is located, and also shows your report with the information you need to complete section 3 of your well drillers report. Or in this case, because you are in a drilling restriction area, you will see the warning that this requires a long-form drilling permit and that start cards are not allowed. You will see the same message when you click on the yellow dot. To see what the hatching means, let's close the results window and click on layers. At the bottom you can see a legend. The hatching visible in our current map corresponds to a groundwater management area. You can turn the drilling restrictions layer on and off by checking and unchecking in front of the layers. Click X to close the dialog box. If you prefer to see this map without the hatching, you can click hide restriction areas. To turn them back on, simply click the button again. Besides finding a location based on its GPS coordinate, you can also find it by typing in a street address, a parcel number, along with the county where the parcel resides in, a stream name, or a water rights number. In the next example, we will find a 40-acre tract based on the public land survey system. Enter in your township and range. Notice how we have lost the convert and map button. This makes sense, since the map will now zoom us to a 40-acre tract and the map does not know where exactly inside that 40-acre tract you are drilling a well. Click Find PLSS. To zoom in a little bit tighter to this location, you can either click on the plus to zoom in, or a nice little shortcut is to hold down your Shift key on your keyboard and then draw a box around the area where you would like to zoom to. Let's say that you are drilling a well right behind this shed. Click on the map to get more information about this point. We can now take this information and enter it again into a find location search. Write down the latitude and longitude information. Click on find location, go back to the coordinates tab, and then enter in the latitude and longitude information you just wrote down. It doesn't matter whether you type in 116 degrees longitude or minus 116. The system knows that you would like to drill a well in Idaho and not on the other side of the world. Click on Convert and Map and it will place a yellow point right where the well is going to go along with the report that you can use to fill in your well driller's report. There are some other features of this map that I would like to show you. First you can change the background. Click on Layers, and you can see that this map is displaying an aerial image from 2011. You can change this to aerial imagery from different years, or you can change it to a streets map, a topo map, whatever you would like. Another thing that you can do here is set an active layer. For example, if you want to learn more about wells, water rights, permits, recommendations, adjudication claims in this area, you can select it here and they will appear on the map. Now you can click on each one of those wells and get more information about them. You can print this map if you like. Do this by clicking on Print Map. At the bottom choose to either save or open this map. Note that this map will always include any areas with drilling restrictions. You cannot take that off. Click on Help to get more instructions. You can also use this map on a mobile device. There are some special instructions on the last page on how to navigate this map on a mobile device. Thank you for watching this video.